Hello, my name is Jacqueline Dunkley Bent and I'm the Chief Midwifery Officer for the NHS in England. I know that many of you are worried and concerned about being pregnant and birthing during these challenging times and I want to reassure you that your midwife is here for you and your maternity team. We join forces with Baby Buddy, who have produced a series of videos that will remind you of some of the things that you need to look out for during your pregnancy. I can't stress enough that if you are concerned, please make contact with your maternity team. And for more information about coronavirus and pregnancy, please access nhs.uk pregnancy and coronavirus. Intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy, or ICP, is a dangerous liver disease that affects up to 5,500 women in the UK each year. You may also hear it called obstetric cholestasis, or OC. It usually starts in the later months of your pregnancy, but it can affect you at any time. So we know that ICP can affect any mother in their pregnancy, in any pregnancy. But we also know that some mothers are more likely to get it, especially if your family origins are from India and Pakistan, or if you're having twins or triplets in that particular pregnancy. It can get really serious. We worry a lot about mothers, but also a lot about the babies, because it can cause stillbirth in babies, um, but also can cause um, babies to be born prematurely. When you have ICP, you tend to get a lot of itching. Now, itching can be normal in pregnancy. Sometimes mums can um, say that it's very specific to hands and feet. You can also get generalised itching everywhere else on the body. The main thing is that if you have itching at any point in your pregnancy, you need to see a midwife within 24 hours. So it started in the evening, so all day I was fine, and then in the evening my hands and my feet started to itch, and I thought it might be heat, even though it was September. But I thought it could be the house was hot or something, um, so I went to bed. And I just thought, you know, in the morning it will be gone. And in the morning I woke up and it wasn't gone. So I just decided to go and get it checked out. Shireen did exactly the right thing by going to see her midwife straight away. So sometimes mums will not report it because they think they're wasting the midwife's time or that it actually is not anything serious. And so we'll always say to any mother, if you have any itching, just come in and we'll check. The hospitals are normally open 24 hours and we'll always be happy to do a blood test for you. So I phoned up, a midwife answered, um, told me it was probably nothing but to come in anyways just to have a blood test to be sure. So I went in, had a blood test within about 30 minutes of being there and then a doctor came back and told me that I had ICP. There you go. Thank you. If you're diagnosed with ICP, you'll have regular blood tests. You may be prescribed medication and you're likely to have your labour induced early, before 38 weeks. I had a specialist doctor and I had to go onto the labour ward instead of the birthing centre. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know the things like the increased risk of stillbirth, the increased risk of premature labour. I didn't know that it affected my blood as well, so that was all new to me. The majority of mothers diagnosed with ICP will be fine and will take their babies home. But we know that not every mother will take their baby home with them. If you're itching, definitely get it checked. Even if it seems like it's irrelevant, it's just a little itch, just get it checked because it might be nothing, but it's better that you know that it's nothing. I think being informed is probably the most important part of it. If you want to know more about ICP, there's some really good resources. Your midwife is always the first port of call. But you can also use charities such as ICP Support or the British Liver Trust and also the NHS website. But if in doubt, always call the midwife. <laughs>